Hello, my name is Jennifer Ross and I'm a DIY paint retailer in Northwest Arkansas in Fayetteville. And today I'm gonna to be showing you faux rust. Just remember that you can apply this to many different situations. So just keep that in mind as you watch and I hope you like it. I start out by measuring off a rectangular shape with a ruler and a Sharpie. And in this particular application of faux rust and patina, I chose to create a riveted panel look. I normally use upholstery tacks, but chose self-tapping screws for this chest. With either, pre-drilling helps tremendously. Before and during the process, check the depths of the screws or tacks for interference. You may need to grind them down after with a Dremel tool to clear the drawers. Make sure you have the correct size drill bit so your screws or tacks have the proper fit. If you choose to add another steampunk element like a license plate, be sure to pre-drill the holes and dull the edges with the Dremel tool for safety. Now we can tape off our shape, then it's up to you on what colors you choose. Have fun and remember that you can apply this technique to many different projects. It doesn't have to be an industrial piece. I've used this technique in another project where I painted plaster dip roses. Check out that how-to video on my YouTube channel. With DIY paint, it's easy to create texture to enhance your artwork. I use a cross between a stippling or modeling technique to achieve an authentic looking rust or patina. Look for the graphic at the end of this video containing the list of colors that I use for rust. For the edges, I like to layer black velvet, queen bee, weathered wood, and summer crush. With this panel, I chose to only apply the faux rust on the edges and keep the patina for the center. Pinterest has a lot of ideas for color combinations for a beautiful patina finish.
Afterwards, I use a vinegar wash and I'll have that recipe at the end of this tutorial. To highlight the license plate numbers, I dipped a palette knife into the paint and lightly raked it across the raised numbers. Using contrasting colors would also help this stand out. After you allow the paint to dry and you seal it, you can apply dark or white wax for more of a weathered look. As faux finishes continue to grow in popularity and new techniques discovered, just remember you're not in a box. You can use your imagination and paint outside the lines. Use this technique in your canvas art, in your mixed media, in whatever that you like to paint. Just apply that to that. Mix up the colors. It doesn't have to be rust colors. You can just apply this modeling technique to so many different things and it's just going to look gorgeous. I hope you enjoyed this and I do hope that you go to my own YouTube channel and subscribe there and check out all the links below on how else to find me. Hope to see you there. Until then, take care and I'll see you on the scenic route. Bye-bye.